Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Let's finally get back to the requests that I have been uh, stockpiling over time. Sorry for get taking so long to get to them, you know, things just kind of happened. Or, as of uh, last week, didn't happen. Rip. Alright, where is Ant Zombies? That's what I'm looking for. There it is. By Arskin03. Information about the real disease. Oh, wait, I actually may have heard about this. So is this the fungus that, like, mind controls ants? I think it is. There's actually a fungus out there that burrows into an ant, sprouts from its head, like, controls it, mind controls it to go to areas that are suitable for the fungus to grow, and the ant, like, just attaches itself to a leaf or something until the fungus can release its spores and the ant just dies. It's actually really creepy and cool. It's one of those things that's like, fungus are weird, man. One of the most bizarre life forms on the planet. Uh, let's see. Ophiocordyceps unilateralis is an... Uh, okay, why, wait, wait a minute. This is just a freaking Wikipedia article, isn't it? Okay, this all seems really cool. Look it up if you are interested in it. The scenario. After living with humans for centuries, the fungus found the evolutionary need to infect humans, climbing through the food chain. The fungus, in order to become adapt to the human body, has started to mutate rapidly. Most of its symptoms slow research speed. Can you destroy the world with this real disease? My first scenario, it's a bit hard, but it is possible. Test it. Hey, 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 there you go. Hey, he knew what I was... If I lost too many times, I'd be all, Ah, you didn't play test it. He's saying right out the gate. I tested it. I tested it, I promise. All right. All right, I believe you. Let's do it. Oh, it's a bioweapon. That's... Wait, no, that's, that, that's a fungus. Wait, is that a fungus? No. Yes. Yes, that's a fungus. Never mind. Get, get my symbols mixed up. I don't play bioweapons or fungus very often. Uh, metabolic jump? I guess that's fine. Genetic mimic, teracide, extreme file, and pathostasis. Normal difficulty. Oh, unilateralis. The disease has been mutated. After a brave man wandering through the Amazon forests ate an ant infected with the disease. Why would you eat ants? This is why you never eat ants. The fungus miraculously survived the acidity of the stomach and is now resting silently inside his body. Will the fungus eventually die, or will it adapt to infect humans? First things first, that is not the Amazon rainforest. Oh, wait, no, he returned home. Oh, see, okay. I was about to make a critique, but the author anticipated this. This was a tourist from Southeast Asia. Interesting, Southeast Asia. That is not a uh, that is not a location I usually get to start in. Curious to see how the spread pattern works. All right, transmissions. Nothing. Symptoms. Nothing. Abilities. There we go. Ants. The fungus is able to infect ants. Well, it's free. Let's start with that. Ant eaters. The fungus is able to survive inside the ant eater's body. Uh, all right, why not? I mean, we have pathostasis, so this suddenly seems a little bit OP. The fungus is now able to survive inside the body of jaguars, predators of anteaters, and humans. The fungus finally adapts to the body of the human. Okay. Immigration. Misspelled. A group of infected humans travel abroad to spread even further the disease. Yes, a bunch of mind-controlled fungus-infected humans. Oh, uh, we need to build a wall. They're going to kill us all. Transmissions. Pores. Fungus releases spores inside of sweat, slightly increasing infectivity, especially in urban areas. Fomites. Wealthy environments. Blood. In the poor regions. Water. In, you know, water. Dust. In the air. And plants in the rural regions. Symptoms. Weakness. The fungus is taking part of the infected nutritional needs, making them feel weak. Okay, well, we'll come back to that, I guess. It is evolved! The fungus is able to infect the humans for free because we're just that freaking good. All right, hang on. Southeast Asia. What are the, uh, what's the biome here? It's poor, it's rural, it's humid, and it's hot. Well, I think we'll go for some water transmission and probably some plants for a good early spread in Southeast Asia. It is nice once in a while to actually play in a different country. You know, something other than Saudi Arabia for freaking once. So I can experience different aspects of the game. Pores is not that important because it's not urban. The start. The brave man. His, he is just called the brave man. I do not feel that good. I think I am sick. His friend. You think it is from that ant you ate? Brave man. Nah. He is brave because he ate the ant and then recounted his tales to his friends. It's like, it's like one of those big fish stories. I ate an ant this big. Brilliant. We'll go for water level two, because that's a pretty hefty amount of infectivity at this stage of the game, and 
Southeast Asia, not only is it a good starting biome, but it has a port that goes to a few different locations. We could actually benefit getting into a bunch of these islands pretty early on. Do I want to go for dust for the plane transmission? Yeah, I could. Alternatively, there's blood, but I don't think poor is that important right now. Fomites will be important later. Eh, eh, eh. We could go for rural, and I think I will. Let's go for rural level two. When we eventually get into Russia, I expect us to go incredibly fast. We do, by the way, have our heat, cold, and drug resistance, so that is all an option. Confusion has uh, mutated for free. The victim feels confused as the fungus is developing further inside of the victim's brain. Super socialis. <laughs> what? Uh, infected are now partially controlled by the fungus, making them to be super sociable so as to spread the disease. Makes sense. Dizziness. The infected feels dizzy as the fungus is developing inside of his brain. It's like having a tumor inside your brain, man. I want to find out if there's going to be a little mushroom fungus thing that pops out of the top of your head. You know? Because just the visual of that makes me happy. I don't know why, but it does. We'll pick up dizziness, and then what? Actually, how expensive were these? Five DNA? Eh, okay. The infected feel pain as the fungus is damaging the brain. A little headache? A little headache never hurt no one. Um... I don't need fomites or pores yet. I guess we'll go for pores since we did get into China and that is considered to be ermine. Urban, not ermine. What'd I just say? Wait, what? Scientist, am I crazy? Or is this Ophiocordyceps unilateralis fungus? How did it manage to evolve from infecting ants to infecting humans? This is highly concerning. Do not let the press get its hands on this, but I already got reported. The pop-up came up. It already has been detected. The scientist failed. He's just reading someone else's work in the article, and he's taking credit for their discovery. What a jerk. Who does he think he is? I need more uh, severity. We're starting to spread around a little bit. Let's go for the headache. And probably the super socialis as well. Super Socialist 2? Infected now greet and make random people friend. They make random people friend. You will friend me. Please, I'm scared. Friend me on Facebook. Migraines. The infected feel more intense pain and pressure behind their eyes due to the severe damage that the fungus has caused in their brains. All right, I'll pick that up. Why not? Again, I need that severity. We're starting to get around. Uh, more DNA from the red bubbles at this point is going to be kind of crucial. We can go for the fomites at this stage, and I... Whoop, short-term memory loss has just fired. Hang on, there it is. Because of severe damage done to the free prefrontal lobe, infected suffer short-term memory loss just like Dory, and it is adorable, and everyone wants to love them and give them a hug. I don't know. Let's pick up some air transmission. We do have access to birds. Land transmission is okay, but I think I'd rather go for dust. Uh, also, fomites level two. Also, also, we go for some cold resistance. There we go. Spread a wee little bit faster in places like Russia. Symptoms, I'm going to go for Super Socialis. And Travelers, infected, now fully and controlled by the fungus, travel across the world to find more people to meet. That sounds great, but I'm going to go for Immigration. What does that do? It does not give me any special abilities, which is kind of what I would have expected. But it is not a Necroa virus, so that's fine. It does instead appear to be a type of Spore Burst. Let's test that. Sure. Well, well, wait, did that all come from the one ability? I don't recall getting into the United States in any other way. War groups of infected travel abroad. Let's try it again. Mass immigration. Okay, no, uh, it got me, it got me some, some extra space. I think we'll hold off on this one until we know we can get into Greenland. Record set for the most people immigrating at once. That is indeed quite the record, and you all should be very proud of yourselves, I'm sure. No, don't miss out on those points. So, do we want to go for travelers? Sure, why not? That leads to anxiety. The infected feel anxious as a consequence of the fungus slowly changing their behavior. Sadness. Infected become easily sad if they get insulted by other people. Oh, I know what that feels like. Mean YouTube comments, man. I've actually, I've actually responded to a couple of those recently, and I probably shouldn't. I've been a little bit snippy. It's like, I didn't come to this video to watch you whine about this thing. It's like, I don't really care. I don't need to respond. But they bother me, man. Nobody likes getting mean comments. No one does, no matter how thick of a skin you think you've developed. Long-term memory loss. Damage to the cerebellum makes the infected forget long-term memories. Blurry vision. The neuroreceptors responsible for vision have been partially damaged, worsening the vision of the victim. That's a good way of getting some extra severity. Is it a good way of winning this scenario? Well, people became anxious on their own. Didn't need any pushing from me. Schizophrenia. 
and flamed dopamine receptors fragment mental processes and increase infectivity can cause fatal fevers. Bipolar disorder. The fungus is making the infected to feel multiple feelings at once for no reason, making them bipolar. That is no joke, though. This is actually pretty terrible. Let's go for pores. That leads to extreme adaptability. The fungus is able to adapt perfectly for both urban and rural environments, greatly increasing infectivity, especially in urban and rural environments. For the record, there's an N after the environments. It's a mistake that a lot of people make, and it's an easy one to make because if you say it out, who, who pronounces the N? Environment. No one does that. Environment. Right? But, no, yeah, it's one of those few cases where sounding it out doesn't actually solve the problem for you. We are missing the Caribbean, Greenland, Iceland, Morocco, and Madagascar. Okay, well, we need a lot more symptoms. Um, but that's too much severity at this stage. I kinda... I don't know. I'm gonna go for some genetic hardening. Just kinda slow down the cure. I'm gonna go for birds. Levels 1 and 2. That leads to extreme bioaerosol. I'm sure that's good and all, but I'd rather get into the islands without worrying about it. Uh, we did get into Madagascar. We did not get into Iceland. We have not yet gotten into the Caribbean. Um, that's all we're missing, though, so I feel like we should be able to do ultimate immigration and be fine, right? Yep, boom, okay. Nothing to worry about. Let's give them schizophrenia, also make them bipolar, also let them make them sad. Depression. Infected fall into a depression if they are hated by someone, sometimes resulting in suicide. Bullying ain't okay, man. Suicide after suffering so much, infected commit suicide, an underlying will of the fungus. Now, what does the fungus gain from this arrangement? See, it makes sense to me that it infects the ants, right, and tries to send them to an area where the fungus can release its spores for its own survival. That makes perfect sense. It's actually a brilliant, like, uh, evolutionary mechanism. Just to get the humans to kill themselves just seems vindictive for no particular reason. Omnino aptet. What? The fungus has been completely adapted to the human body, growing fruiting bodies on the bodies of the infect. What? Adapted to the human body, growing fruiting bodies on the bodies of the infected, killing them in the process. Well, now I guess that answers my question. I don't know why it needs suicide to make that work, but hey, fruiting bodies on the humans seems perfectly great. Alzheimer diseases? Untreatable? Seizures? Seems good. Blurry vision? Yeah. We're kind of stuck here waiting on Greenland is my problem. And we're really not spreading here, like, at all. Like, shockingly so. Let's get some cold resistance. Can we please infect- There we go, now we're infecting Greenland. I mean, I want to ramp up the lethality, but we just instantly lose. Not a good prize, yo. Not a good prize. Seizures! The end is nigh. Iceland, come on, I need you to hit a critical mass now. Come on, Iceland, hit that critical mass. You know you want to. Here it comes, here it comes, it's there. All right, we're gonna go for the Omnino Aptet. Hopefully it doesn't instantly kill them. It has succeeded. The fungus was able to perfectly adapt to the human body, making humans mindless zombies trying to spread the disease. There are no healthy people left in the world. Maximum lethality in the world and instantly die? Color me disappointed. Alzheimer's disease? Eh, nah. Let's just go for some genetic reshuffles. At least one level to buy a little bit of extra score. And the world plops over very, very dead. Wait. Two levels of it. Why not? Eradicating humans. Waiting. There we go. Victory! The unilateral thing has successfully limited all life on Earth. 508 days is a little bit longer than I think I would have liked. But otherwise, not too bad. 35% cure progress, 47,773 points to stars. Doesn't seem all that difficult, but hey, I'm glad that you play tested it. I encourage more authors to do that. I'm glad you're... Someone's taking notes as they watch my scenarios. So you get a cookie. You can find me somewhere on the planet, and I'll give you a cookie. Good luck finding me, though. For the scenario itself, I think it is actually pretty good. It picks a compelling theme, and it sticks to it. It's relatively well-balanced. Mostly, it's got some grammatical errors, but those are certainly fixable. Thank you for sending it my way. And thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.